In 2015, an estimated 850,000 people were diagnosed with some form of dementia in the UK. 40,000 of them were younger people. It's hard to see someone that you know or love going through some form of dementia and with that in mind, here's a couple of pointers that will hopefully help you guys deal with this in some form. It's on the person that you once knew them as, whether your mum, your dad, your auntie, your uncle, your friend. The person that they are to you, the person that they were before the Alzheimer's or the dementia hit, that is who they are somewhere in there, they are still that person and you still have to treat them as that person. The next one is a hard one, but it's one I have to bring up and that is accept that one day they are going to look at you and they're not going to know who you are straight away. Unfortunately, with Alzheimer's specifically, it does eat away at the memory and if you are, say, quite a new relation to them, you will probably be the first one to go on. It's a horrible day when that happens, when you they look at you and you they don't know who you are. With all this in mind, you have to just accept that it's, it's not their fault. It's a chemical imbalance happening here. When it happens, it's hard, it's horrible. Take an hour away, step, step away for a bit if you really need to. And it's okay to grieve at that point because unfortunately it doesn't get much better from that point on. But as I said before, hold up the person that you knew them as and still treat them like that. But a respect that they may not necessarily trust you as much as they once did or that they may have some slight concerns about you as a person rather than when they knew you properly. This is a talk to people. Don't deal with this by yourself because it's a horrible thing to have to deal with by yourself and you need to look after yourself in terms of your mental well-being. And the only way you can do that is by not bottling it up and it's to talk to people about it, whether that is friends or support workers. Support workers like on the NHS or even at the Alzheimer's Society charities that are there directly to help who may not if they can't help themselves they will direct you to someone they can who can help you with some questions you may have about what's going on or if it's just someone you need to talk to. The next bit of advice and there's a big bit of advice I can I have to give you guys is step away from every now and again. Don't deal with this on a 24 hour basis. Don't feel like you have to be there all the time. I know it's hard not to feel like you have to be there. But again, for your own health, step away, go to the pub, have a drink. Do whatever you feel like you have to do. Get away from it for a little bit. And it, it's not a bad thing to want to escape from it. It's not because it's a horrible experience and sometimes you do need a bit of time for yourself. So that's my point, guys. If you need any help with um, certain, certain points, if you want me to expand on them in the comments down below, let me know. Um, this is the first uh, video in a fairly short series about this specific um, subject. I'm not going to talk about my own experience with Alzheimer's, even though I have had it, um, because I've made videos about it in the past, they're down below. Um, go check them out if you want to hear about my side of things and what I've been through. So, I hope that helps guys and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye. For a course of about three years, she slowly disappeared and lost herself. She became confused, aggravated, scared because she was getting confused and didn't know who she was, didn't know who her family was. 